Maria is slamming the Caribbean as a powerful Category 5 storm. It made landfall last night on the island of Dominica. Given the nature of the destruction, it's almost like the country of Dominica no longer exists. Hurricane Maria resulted in $1.2 billion in damage and destruction in a couple of hours. Devastated, completely devastated the country, wiping out the equivalent of 226% of our GDP. For a country that experienced the force of Hurricane Maria, there was no other option. Adapt or die. Government realized that we needed to do something more. Our idea of resilience is that we will be able to bounce back and bounce back very quickly. Climate resilient infrastructure is the bricks and mortar that support the achievement of social well-being, social welfare and economic growth and development. The International Monetary Fund has been a true friend of Dominica. They have been very, very supportive. We did what is called a disaster resilience strategy at the request of the government. So we embedded all the resources that would be required in terms of infrastructure, insurance, and social resilience into a comprehensive macroeconomic framework. We estimated at around three billion US dollars. Not a lot of money, but um, a lot of money for a small country. We have to ensure that our infrastructure is built to resilient standards. We've been building resilient homes, more than a thousand homes. The structures are being built to resilient standards with concrete roofs, so you don't have the situation where roofs would be blown off in the event of a hurricane. Government has also moved to construct a number of regional hurricane shelters. These are built to withstand Category 5 hurricanes. We're providing supervision for the East Coast Road project. It's looking at the improvement of the road network, the building of new bridges that are built to resilient standards. You started to see a lot of construction projects, the housing projects, which then created contracts. It creates employment for the people in the area. You started to see uh, better road networks being established, the construction on the roads. We have some of the best roads in the Caribbean right now. I think the greatest challenge that Dominica faces in its quest to become climate resilient is finance. It's a very special case because being a small island state, it has minimal to no contribution to global warming, yet it's suffering disproportionately the consequences. Then the international community needs to step up. There's a moral responsibility to mitigate the harmful effects of climate change. It cannot be done alone. I think the first lesson from Dominica is to dream big, that vision was homegrown. It came from Dominica. It didn't come from outside. We have come from complete devastation, and we have set ourselves on a clear path for becoming resilient. <laughs>